Hey all, you might have heard this myth that temporal cannot be used for AI agents because they're non-deterministic. Well, I'm here to tell you that that is categorically incorrect. In a second, I'll show you a demo, but first let me show you what an agent implementation looks like. So this flowchart shows you a very simple agentic loop. We're gonna invoke the LLM. The LLM is gonna make some decisions on whether it wants to invoke some tools or not. And then we're gonna to add to the conversation history and loop again. The key is that the LLM is making the decisions. So this code is exactly what I just showed you in the flowchart. You can see here that we've got an infinite loop, a while true, we're invoking the LLM. If necessary, we're invoking some function calls, and then we just loop again. And in the event that the LLM has decided to complete its goal, then we stop. So let's see this in action. In this window here, I'm gonna run the agent. Down here, I'm actually gonna start an interaction. And what you see there is you see some lines going across a screen, and in between those lines, it represents a single turn through the loop. So let's see how it starts. I'm doing splendidly, just like a donut in a donut shop? What on earth? I'll show you what the goal of this agent is in just a moment. So you can see that a dialogue is going along, and in between, you're seeing that it's making some tool calls. And at some point, it's going to be finished with its agenda. Now, I call this the chaotic agent because it's quite unclear what the agenda is. And that's quite intentional because I wanted to show you that this agent is completely non-deterministic. Now you can see that it's still running and eventually it will stop. Ah, there we go. So it stopped and I ask it to tell me why it's stopping. I, I'm stopping because I've written a delightful poem. Well, I don't know if I would call that a delightful poem, but let me show you what the instructions are for this particular agent. So here's the instructions. You're a chaotic agent that does things in a way that seemingly has no rhyme or reason. I think it nailed that. You're gonna do things in a loop. We're gonna give you a couple of tools. Those tools were random number generator and checking weather alerts. And you can respond however you want. You can decide whether you wanna to use tools. And at some point, you yourself get to decide when to stop. So what you can see with this is that we've given 100% agency to the LLM. The LLM is making all the decisions on how this agent is going to interact. My favorite part is the very last line, which says, hallucinate if you want to. I think it nailed that too. Now let's take a look at what this looks like in the temporal UI. This agent is running in temporal. So if we refresh this list, you can see now that here is the flow that shows everything that that agent did. Starting at the bottom, each one of these create lines is in fact an execution of the LLM. And then you can see that it was executing tools as well. Get random number, get weather alerts, and so on. It made all of these decisions itself. If we look at a workflow that I ran earlier, you can see that it was very much shorter than that. And in fact, it was dominated by no function calls. So each time through the loop, the LLM was making the decision not to invoke tools. Eventually it invoked the weather alerts, and then it completed. Seeing is believing, right? An AI agent implemented in temporal, totally non-deterministic. So then why on earth is this myth going around? Well, let me explain. You see, a temporal application is made up of a number of primary components. One is the workflow, and that's where we have that agentic loop that I showed you earlier. The other portion, perhaps a more significant portion, are the activities. The workflow is required to be deterministic, but the activities are not. So what that means is that a temporal application as a whole, not required to be deterministic, even though the workflow is. Now, if we take a look at the workflow on the screen here, it sure makes sense for that to be deterministic. We're always going to loop the same way. Of course, we're gonna respond differently based on the inputs and outputs that are coming from the LLM and from the tool calls, but given the same inputs and outputs, we're always gonna follow the same flow. So we wouldn't want, for example, the workflow to be the thing that decides whether or not to call tools, that agency sits with the LLM. The determinism requirement for the workflow portion of the temporal application is at the foundation of our durability capabilities. So let me show you the demonstration again, highlighting some of those. All right, so what I've done is I've cleared the window in the middle so that we can see where the new interaction is going to start. And let's start a new interaction with this workflow. So what we're gonna see is it's gonna invoke the LLM and we're getting started. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to enable a firewall rule that is gonna break contact between the agent and the LLM. Now, normally this could wreak all sorts of havoc on the agent, but let's see what happens in the temporal case. Coming back into the temporal UI, you can see that we have an agent running here. 
We'll click on that agent and you can see that it made a number of calls to the agent. It also generated a random number and called get weather alerts. And at the moment, you can see that it's trying to in, uh, interact with the LLM, but it's failing. It has now implemented a retry. So we've made a second attempt at invoking the LLM. And now let's come back over here and we can see that there was an error showing that we timed out on something. I'm going to disable the firewall. And in a moment, we should see on attempt three, it's going to be successful interacting with the LLM again. And there we have it. In the third attempt to interact with the LLM, it was once again successful and the agent is continuing. Now, in the meantime, the agent stopped and we can see that we have a completed workflow. I'm going to run this one more time and show you one more durability capability in action. So we're starting the LLM and this time, instead of disconnecting the LLM, I'm going to kill the agent itself. So if I control C out of this, what you can see is that the agent has entirely stopped running. Now, if I come over here and I show you that in action here in the UI, you can see that it was killed right at the moment when I was trying to interact with the LLM. Now, you can clearly see that in spite of the fact that I've killed the process that was running the agent, Temporal is keeping that agent interaction alive. So when I come back over here and I start the agent process again, you'll very quickly see it recover and pick up where it left off. So it continues the agentic loop. So that's the reason why a portion of the temporal application needs to be deterministic because it supports these recovery capabilities. But as a whole, the temporal application can be as non-deterministic as you like. Thanks for listening. I, lots more to come on this topic, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks.